This will be broken with the initial deal, so simple should have taken this out to the 16. A gain of five, good enough for the first hit. Now look, that was a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their last last week. They couldn't get a going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling of the meetings that they can be granted that he didn't touch that for you? You know, they had traditional touch on the last week. They didn't make that same mistake. They said they cared better. Media broadcast this one to get for this one. I'm not on his own side of the line in his Send this one away. 
And we'll see a return here from the end zone. They had tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Got New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they, of course, coming into this one in the midst of a tough losing streak. They did get helped out by the open week last week, and in talking with him, all indications were, Charles, that that was a very helpful break. Yeah, I know a lot of teams, coaches, they hate taking time off in the midst of a losing streak because they think they have to stay on their toes and punch their way out of it. But occasionally, you get that open week, you step back, evaluate what's been going wrong, see what you can put in that can move you forward, and maybe you get a chance to breathe a little bit and kind of start over. Back to Mixon on first down. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Now Cunningham. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. When you look at this defense, right now they're ranked number 29 in the NFL against the pass. So fourth from the bottom, Charles. They're in the bottom 10 in the league. I mean, when you look at their talent, you would think that they'd be much better. But overall, I don't think there's any question you'd have to say that they've underachieved. Cunningham to throw. like nothing to show now from these first two possessions and guess what when you're on a losing streak that can lead to a full sense of here we go again so on the sidelines the offensive play callers quarterback they've got to get together and dial something up to start their next drive otherwise it could be a long game but how about this a fake oh but this is gonna backfire as it's intercepted Derwin James with a pick. And the Dolphins are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Well, sometimes the fake punts work out. They're fun, and you're so smart for doing it. And sometimes, Charles, what happens is an epic fail, and what we just saw was an epic fail. And you're right about that, because the key here is the element of surprise. You have to catch a defense completely unaware that this might happen, this might occur. Unfortunately, somehow they tipped it off, or they were just well coached and on their toes. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown, they got the stop, and now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can, and that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off because right now it's out there for them. They've just got to go seize it. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Second and five. They'll try the left side. Hurd. That's now consecutive five-yard carries to pick up the first down. The Dolphins now are two and five to start play. And they come in with fresh legs. They got the extra time off thanks to an early season open week. And usually your hope is that your open week comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance to get your fresh legs back, you have to take that time and run with it. And that's what they're trying to get done here. Here we go. Right back to him on first down. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Now, the good thing for you, partner, is you're not as old as I am. Okay? So, true. so back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, 
the right side of an offensive line was almost always your power side. Your bigger, stronger physical guys. On this play, they tossed it right and looked like it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, but that's not the case so much anymore, you're saying, with the bigger guys? And not, not necessarily. You just find the best guys, plug them in on your O-line. Right. As a general rule now, you're a lot more balanced on your offensive line. It might still lean towards your best pass blocker on the left side, sure. but not necessarily all the time. 43 yards rushing for him now to this point. Someone's looking fresh in his own line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain too. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Extra point by Ryland up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Kick this one away, and off it goes. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Now Cunningham. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. He's got room past the 30. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Two now. Here's first and ten. Inside handoff to Mixon. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half yeah. linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Yeah. On second down, it's Howell. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's Howell, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Inside the 10, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns 
turns into six points the other way, disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation, turn it over for the offense. Bad a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. Probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, CD, you, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, come on, come on. but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Now a give right side. Powell. Yeah, he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. Hawk 70, Hawk 70. 19 tight, 19 tight. They'll try and throw for it here. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On third down, they're going to run for it here. Uh -oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Calling no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. He handed it off there, but I don't really know if he would have kept it or tried to do anything else if it would have mattered. Yeah, it's not always a wrong read when a play gets stacked up. Sometimes they're just at the line of scrimmage with just too many bodies to maneuver. And as a result, now they're looking at a fourth down. He cannot wiggle free. They stop him at the line on fourth down. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Patriots' defense is going to take go over on downs. The Pats at the line ready to go. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. want to. We know, but well, let me finish. Okay, you're down three scores. Right? You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, can go. I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But the, oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Boy, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up, aren't they? Because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there, there but they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, they've got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chances. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Here we go. Here's a second and five. Again, that's Watkins. 
That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. 59 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal. And this is caught by Watkins for a Dolphins touchdown. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins are able to widen their lead here in this first half. The extra point by Ryland up and good. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Ready. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need him right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. A play fake. Now Cunningham. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Now a first down throw, Fields. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Here's second and 10. 11, 11, 11. Hey, can't, 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 can't. Fields now to throw. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he is out of bounds right around the 10 yard line. That goes for a gain of 31. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. And got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Jalen Wallen as the first half is winding down. And the Dolphins will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that makes this 35 to nothing now. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. at the line ready to go and with time quickly fading here in the Drop second quarter Drop not sure how aggressively Drop. offensively they want to play this I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot but now a throw on first down there but it's incomplete well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure 
and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hit, and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. Wow, a big mistake there. Late interception in this first half, and that could lead to a field goal try the other way. Yeah, I think at this point you just had to say, let's take a knee and go in at the Here half and regroup. Let's just talk it over a little bit. I wonder, partner, was the analytics coach in his head a little bit? Maybe go ahead and press it and try and get some points. While the old school coach probably would have said, take the knee, let's get out of here. Now we could see points the other way here. A final shot before the break. Fields. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. We welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And the Dolphins are going to recover. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Well, and a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. The defensive coordinators love that. you got a cornerback willing to stick his nose in there, come up on run support, and stop that pop pass dead in its tracks. And, partner, one good thing about trying to defend that play, you should see it coming the whole way. You see the receiver coming in motion in your direction. Nice job eluding the blocker, making the play behind the line of scrimmage, and even better job steadying the play before you have to try to defend it. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Hands it off out of the gun. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Ready. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he will have a touchdown. A great play there. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Dolphins have taken a six-touchdown lead. A familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. 
this is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. He finds his man complete. That's Howell. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line well short of the first down marker. They're going to try and throw. That is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Apparently they weren't interested in playing the field position game. They opt to keep their offense out there. A big mistake in hindsight. Yeah, that one backfired in hindsight's always 20-20, but let's call it what it was. We would have first guessed that one and said, don't do it here. Bad situation. I think they need to be closer to midfield before I would start to think it was a good idea. Yeah. And once you start taking risks like that, you have to keep taking them throughout the game, especially when they don't work. Yeah, at this stage of the second half, interesting. 76 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On second down, they'll run it here. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. You know what they say? Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Hey, Ken, Ken, Ken. It's you. Throwing on third down, Fields. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Waddle, the motion man, right. Go. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A great effort there with his third touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Dolphins are pouring it on. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Pats at the line ready to go. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. 18, five here. <laughs> to throw on second down, Cunningham. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Cunningham. And oh my goodness, here's a fifth interception. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Well, that is now his fifth interception thrown in this game. And 
Charles, you've got to tip your cap to this defense. I mean, they have been so impressive reading these passes, stepping in those lanes, and picking them off. Yeah, sometimes the best offense is an excellent defense, and they've done exactly that. What do you think, partner? A season's worth of highlights in just four quarters? I think that's what we're seeing from this group. Fields on first down. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. To throw his fields. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Back to the air, Fields on second down. Flush to his right. And that was going to be off target and incomplete. Well, no surprise there. He was looking for one of his favorite targets again as soon as he left the pocket. But the coverage was good downfield. They got right to the receiver and helped prevent that completion. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Again, Fields into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And the Patriots are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Now the offense moving quickly to the line. Third down. It's Howell. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Play action, it's Cunningham. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. On third down, Howell. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. Buffalo 18! As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And now here is another interception. Derwin James with a pick. There he goes, right side. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six on Dolphins touchdown. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense. And certainly the signal caller, Charles, it's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Partner hoping to hold a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. 
That extra point by Ryland up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. Throwing after the interception, Cunningham. And his throw is incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Cunningham looking to throw. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's hell. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Cunningham. And my goodness, another interception. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. So the ball changing hands on the interception, but meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. First down, Hurd trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. There to stop him, Jawan Bentley. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Now that sends them two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Field's going to toss this quickly out wide, complete. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. You know what? I know it's fourth down, and they've got a big lead, but go for it. Yeah, and why not, right? Because they have the big lead. But don't you have to have a little bit of admiration for these guys on the defensive side yeah. of the ball? Here They've been shoved around this entire game, and they're making a nice goal line stand there, 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 there. here. It would be fun to see them stop them on fourth down, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's like putting whipped cream on broccoli at this point. <laughs> and this will be caught, and the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, 
You can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size go. to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Seventy Ranger, seventy Ranger. On second down, here's Cunningham. Got a man. It's Tyquan Thornton, and uh, he'll go out near midfield at the forty-nine. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Well, a touchdown here on this drive, it wouldn't really put much of a dent in the score, the deficit right now. But as you've mentioned in the past, CD, their coach is probably just hoping to see something executed correctly on this drive before we close out the ball game. Yeah, and I think that every guy who's on the field has to feel exactly the same way because if not, they might be looking for replacements. Treat every drive as if it's your last and make it a successful one in some small way. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 79 Broncos. Here's Cunningham. Completes this one to Thornton. And he'll take this forward for about five as we have come upon the two-minute warning. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Warrior 70. Ready. Now Cunningham. And now here is another interception. And the Dolphins will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more. There he goes left side. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is hard work. Well, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack the defense and take them out of the game. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he returns this to the 22. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Here's Cunningham from the gun. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. 18 Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
Mixon with a first down carry. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. On the delay, it's Mixon. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Oh, wait, hold everything. A timeout has been called. Seemingly silly with one second remaining in this game. Here's third and three. 19 tight, 19 tight. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 30. So Houston going to come away here with the victory. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that,